here. Oh. Welcome back to another vlog. We are down near the CNE. It's the uh, fairgrounds here in Toronto. It's out for a bike ride. Thought I'd come down through this area and see what's going on. I have not been here <laughs> in a long fucking time. Probably since the 90s in this area. I'm really not a uh, fairground kind of person very much, so. So I'm okay with coming down here when it ain't happening. I think it will be in a couple of weeks, maybe, I think. I think it's, or even very soon. Could even be going on now for all I know. I know it's sometime in the end of August is what my understanding is, but it could be incorrect. So yeah, I want to apologize for not having a lot of vlogs as of late. Fairly open with uh, how we've been feeling and dealing with stuff. And it has not been outstanding for me personally. But I'm out today, so this is all good. I think there's something going on here. Stuff is blocked off. I am not going to go through it. Or I don't think I will. There is something happening. It's all blocked off. Who knows? But yeah, I'm out today. So this is a step in the right direction, so to speak, for me. Oh yeah. So, Tini is August 19th to September 5th. So it is next week for me. So, and uh, yeah, in a few days this is going to be packed. Cool. Really getting stuff set up, so to speak. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I have not been down here in ages. In about a week's time, it's going to be a zoo here. And I would not be coming through this again. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna take the trail that should allow me to feel normal. Yeah, there's no bicycling here in a week. Neat to see that they've got stuff starting to show up though. A little sneak preview, so to speak. Yeah, they, uh, because of the pandemic, it wasn't running. So I think this is the first year in two, which is good. People are excited to go back to it again. Not me. I've never really been into the fair thing anyway. When I was a kid, it was about going to the rides, but that hasn't been a thing for me in the ages. After you go to uh, parks like Disney and Universal, the uh, carnival rides just kind of pale in comparison. They certainly don't feel as safe. <laughs> I've been on a few carnival rides that felt like death traps, but I think it was part of the, uh, the thrill when you're a little. Oh, yeah, it's a 
Sunday when I'm recording this. So, I'm trying to think of date. 14th, I think? 13th or 14th, I can't remember. I haven't really been paying attention to the dates. So, I'm uh, heading off to New Brunswick in a few weeks. And I'm excited for that. I'm really excited to get back to my hometown for a little while. This is kind of crazy. It's neat that they let people in here, though. Not going down there. It's amazing how different this feels. Like when I was a kid living here in the 70s, like coming to the city was a massive thing. And now, it doesn't even hit my radar. Like I literally decided to pull over because I was driving down the, the, uh, the lake shore. And uh, I was like, I wonder what's going on over here. And I just pulled in. Like it was literally just that mindset. Didn't come here on purpose. And had no clue. And less than a week from when it's happening. I think the only reason I would come here now would be for some of the crazy food ideas. But none of that's healthy. <laughs> Considering I'm of the mindset to try to get healthier and not try to live like a fat bastard anymore. The uh, bad idea. So. So yeah, anyway, I did it again. I wanted to apologize for uh, the current state of affairs with me and things. I don't really want to dwell on it. I've been, uh, I've been working on myself a lot uh, that Incident a few weeks ago really set me back. Kind of showed me that, uh, and I'm trying to find a positive in this, so bear with me. Uh, it proved to me that what I'm doing is not an easy task. There is no quick, easy fix for anything. Um, this is all coming from years and years of mental neglect, so there is no quick process for it. And to top it off, is that it's not going to be a short-term fix that's going to make it all right again. I'm never going to be perfect. <laughs> never going to be the person I thought I was before. And that's okay. Because I'm enjoying the person I'm becoming. I like how careful I am with people, how conscientious I become. I'm more focused on the needs of others in a positive way without looking for how it's going to affect me. You know, making a decision that is just the right one. Because it doesn't mean it's going to benefit you at all. It's just the right choice. And that's a horse. <laughs> that is cool as shit. I saw that cowboy hat and I was like, what am I coming into? That's cool as shit. Okay. See, happy accidents. I love it. Where in the hell am I? Oh shit, okay. Cross here. Hopefully.
So yeah, I, uh, a silver lining for me out of this whole debacle is the fact that I'm happy with my recent choices I've been making for myself. I'm happy that I'm making the choices for the right reasons. And, uh, it's good to know that it's not an easy. Where are we at here? Waiting for so a lot of people. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I am like I said I'm happy that I'm in the right path and the right mindset. The setback was okay. It was kind of necessary. Because I think <laughs> I always am going slower than everybody else around me. See the little tiny wheels in this bike. Oof. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Holy shit. That little hell wrecked me. So. As I usually do, been out for over an hour already. I don't know why I do that. I think it's because I don't think I have anything fun near where I live. I don't know what to talk about. I don't get inspired by much out there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just getting past the standing still, which I'm fine with. I don't care. Ooh. So yeah, keep on getting sidetracked, <laughs> and that's okay. So anyway, I am feeling better today than I have all week. I've been uh, packing. I've decided to move. I found a place. It's out of the city. I, uh, Uh, so yeah, I'm going on my vacation. I'm gonna move at the same time. <laughs> so I'm gonna move all my stuff and then head over to New Brunswick and then unpack and do everything when I get back. I have to get my office ready for work. So I have the place I'm going to Already all set up. Don't turn on power or anything internet there. I'm uh yeah. it's only a temporary thing. I have to downsize. Uh and I'm okay with this. I'm just excited to be going someplace that I feel I'm gonna be safer. And I'm not just talking about the uh, the events. I uh, I 
I'm one of the only people I see on a daily basis with a mask on. <laughs> and uh, that sucks. Because with the amount of people that I see every day that I'm out, it's worrisome to me. And uh, until I get over what's in my head, every time I go out, unless I don't pay attention to it, which is hard, I end up taking steps back. And that's not good for me. So, going out to a place far away from the city. And uh, I'm going to be good. That's the intent anyway. Sorry. I'm trying to catch my breath and try not to seem like a weirdo talking to himself, even though I am. That is one of the benefits to having a mask on and cycling. Is because people really can't see what I'm doing. If they're nearby, they can probably hear it. Probably think I could be talking on the phone for all they know. And that's the kind of shit I want to get away from. The fucking insanity of people. So close-minded people are some days. Just paying attention to uh, anything. Like even right now, I'm in an exceptionally dangerous area because these people don't always pay attention to the cyclists sharing the road with them. So you got to be very cautious. I'm kind of looking forward to country roads. At least I can fly my drone. Go for walks in nature. Get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. I don't know if that's going to be more or less engaging for you folks. But again, I don't know how much of what I do is based upon the views. Like what you see. Or how many people are watching, to be honest. I do these for myself to process the shit the data in my head but I'm pretty sure I could process a lot more and feel a lot more comfortable if I felt safer I was cycling what's happening Whew. oh this is nice see we're on Queen Street now we're heading west on it. Uh, I don't know quite where we came up. We're coming up to Ossington. Uh, the area that we came up to was the uh, Trinity Bellwood Park, which is right where I stopped. Beautiful park. It's got a uh, few issues as of late. They've been uh, hurting homeless people out of it, which is not necessarily a positive action. There is an issue in the city with homeless people, for sure. I've seen a lot of it, and I feel bad for them. It's not easy to, uh, or cheap to live in the city. And if you have, any social anxieties or any problems even more so thank you
like they said on your left, which is good. Good courtesy. Sometimes you hear them with bells, sometimes they talk. But yeah, I would not want to uh, live in this city if my mental health was even more fragile than it currently is. If I was on the verge of homelessness, this would be the last place I'd want to be. I'm reminded of when I was younger and uh, got to be in my bonnet once and just took a walk about gone for a while, you know, biked, had a scooter, biked for a while, hitchhiked for a while when everything fell apart. And I just lived, I think that's why when I see folks doing the van life stuff, it uh, ignites a sense of adventure in my brain because I did that for a while, not on the van, but I absolutely get the wanderlust aspect of just, you know, having a home on wheels that you can live in. Something I wanted to do back then, but I didn't. I mean, I had a tent and sleeping gear on my bike, so I could pitch a tent wherever I needed to and hold up for a couple of days if need be. It was delightful. I think that's kind of part of what's going on in my head. I'm not gonna lie, it's like, I would love to get into a place, a small little van and just live. And if I wanted to go someplace, drive there. <laughs> but for me, the part that I can't do with it is the, uh, the gas. I cannot be a part of that. There's a lot of people hanging out here. An ice cream place. They're literally wrapped around the building to get ice cream. It's a nice day for it. I can understand it. <sighs> so yeah, as much as I love the concept of a van life, not sure about it, but my brain goes into it, it's like, if you could offset the petrol for the gas for the car versus the energy consumption that you have in your home where you're collecting solar power, you know, trying to offset the, uh, the impact you're putting on the environment. I'll have to crunch numbers one of these days, but it's an expense I'm not ready for. But I'm pooped. I'm gonna pull over and have a little walk. And uh, I'm going to sit down and have my iced coffee, a little package for myself, a little cold brew. But yeah, thanks for putting up with me. And I'll see you all in our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye. This is a song for all the rivet heads.